Hello folks, this is Aditya Najha from InspiredRise.com and today we have the Redragon Kumara K552 LED backlit keyboard here with us for a detailed review and unboxing of the same. So guys, let's begin. So guys, we will start off firstly with the unboxing for this keyboard. This keyboard came in a nice package as can be seen over here. The black and red colors are the predominant colors in the packaging as well as the material for the keyboard. You get the keyboard itself, you get the key remover and you get the warranty papers etc inside the keyboard and it has a very great feel. When you shift to a mechanical keyboard from a regular keyboard, the difference is instantly noticeable. And let's just keep that aside and see what else do we get. So when you remove the keycaps, you can see that there are Cherry MX equivalent switches. These are not exactly Cherry MX switches, but the switches on this one are equivalent to Cherry MX green and they do perform quite good. You get 87 double shot injection molded keycaps, which are all backlit. Now let's move forward. And these are the papers, etc. that you get inside. And let's just take a closer look at them, warranty card etc, nothing too significant. On the back of the keyboard we have details about it that it takes 5 volt 200 milliamp power current. So it can even work from your peripheral dongle accessories in case you want it to run through that. And the keyboard itself is a very nice design, it's, it has a 10 keyless design. So you don't get the number pad and you don't get a lot of additional keys also. But for day to day gaming and typing it is really good for that. And the LED backlit is red color, it does not have RGB lighting but still in day to day usage I did not found that much of a trouble and it has a very nice ergonomic design, the keys do depress in quite good. And once you go to a mechanical keyboard from a regular keyboard, the difference is instantly noticeable. And uh, those guys who have never tried a mechanical keyboard till date, I urge you to try once. And this is the gold plated USB connector for this one. And it's very easy to replace the keycaps in case the lettering goes kaput and just uh, press it in place. And you can easily remove all of your keycaps, replace them with custom keycaps as a lot of keycaps are also available on Amazon.in and other sites and it is very easy to put it back to. And the greatest test for a mechanical keyboard is the sound quality. So let's just do a small sound test. No guys, I was not typing some random words, I was typing my subscribers are the best and let's just keep that aside, too much buttering for today. And overall, I found out that the keyboard quality was quite good but in my one month of usage of this keyboard, the zero key, the LED light for the zero key has gone bad, it is not working now. The zero key works, every key works but the LED light for that single key has gone off so that's certainly noticeable. But overall it's good and you can easily turn off the LED lighting in case you desire so. So I guess this is one of the cool features that if you don't desire to have that LED lighting on you can easily remove it. Response during gaming is one of the major factors while buying such a keyboard and I can assure you that right now I am reviewing the Asus ROG G20 CB and this keyboard is working really nice with that. The red backlight can be adjusted for a breathing effect by pressing function key plus home and that also gives you a really nice kind of effect. It also has a windows key lockout option and you also have flips on the back so that you can raise its height while typing that makes for a good experience. Though this keyboard is quite good but I would suggest you to keep it covered while you are not using it because it's a real dust magnet. One of the good things about this keyboard is the fact that it is very small and compact and it weighs around 820 grams only so it does not take too much space on your desk and I found it the perfect addition to my workspace. 
I have been trying to shift my workspace in the past few months and this was one of the greatest additions that I could have and for a price of around 3999 which is around 4000 rupees I guess this is one of the best value for money mechanical keyboards that you can buy for gaming or typing for people who don't prefer the click clack sound of the mechanical keyboard I would suggest please stay away from this but for people who really love that audio and tactile feedback this keyboard is the one for you so guys this was it for this video in case you like this one don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech reviews and other videos like this fails and outtakes part 4 is coming soon and guys no matter what you do stay inspired to us